Hi ladies and gentlemen good morning or good evening to everyone welcome to the main frame guru youtube channel today i am going to discuss main frame interview questions and answer which were asked in united health group or optum company and these question are based on the cobol jcl db2 and cics so first question is how will you guide your junior to use com com1 and com2 and com3 so basically comp1 which is co uh, close is called as binary computation and it is applicable to numeric data type only and uh, it is a binary representation of data and the data in the comp variable will be stored in the pure binary format uh, like we have uh, if we want to declare the uh, comp variable so we have we have level number we can give any level number like 0 1 2 Uh, 49. Okay, and like we have 01 here, and then variable name. Then we have pick close. Then we can give uh, how many byte we want to store the data. Uh, accordingly, we can give pick close. And if we talk about the memory allocation for the comp uses, so it will be like below. And we have pick close. Like if we have pick close from the S9 of to S9 of 4, it means it will allocate the two byte. and if we have a uh, pick close between the s9 of 5 and s9 of 9 okay so it mean it will allocate the 4 byte if uh, our pick close is between s9 of 9 and s9 of 18 so it mean it will allocate the 8 byte uh, if we talk about the comp1 uses it is also called as uh, floating point and uh, comp1 uses is applicable to single floating point and uh, it is specify for internal floating point item which is a single precision and uh, it, the component item are four byte longs and uh, fixture close uh, are not required for uh, the comp1 variable comp1 allow sign floating point item where the sign will store the, on the leftmost byte means first bit which is allocated to exponent and in the uh, four byte leftmost eight bit to store exponent and remaining 24 bit store the mantissa comp1 memory allocation will be uh, like that like we have uh, we have as for assumption we have pick close like that as 9 of 16 it is uh, one word you can see and we have a number of byte 4 uh, which will be used by the comp1 variable and we can we can use the uh, level number from the 01 to 49 and we have level uh, we have variable name here this is variable name okay and then we can we give the usage comp1 and if we talk about the comp2 it is also called as floating point data and it is applicable to double floating point and uh, it is specify uh, for the double precision and it uh, it is 8 uh, byte long and uh, we also don't require the fixture close for specifying the com2 variable and uh, com2 uh, allow sign floating point item where the sign will store similarly as com1 on the leftmost byte first bit which is allocated to com exponent and in the 8 byte leftmost 12 bit to bit uh, will store in the exponent and uh, remaining 52 will store the mantissa and its memory allocation is like that we have as per jemson picture close like that as 9 of 32 it means mean two word and it has eight byte and uh, we have like level number we can give uh, 0 0 1 to 49 level number and then we have variable name then we can give the uh, uses com2 uh, if you talk about the com3 uh, it is called as pack decimal format and uh, com3 uses close is applicable for the numeric data type only and uh, it will store the data as pack means two digit in each byte com3 data will store in memory as bcd bcd means binary coded decimal format and uh, it will store uh, in memory higher to lower in the size of nibble nibble means four byte uh, uh, for that is uh, upper nibble store the most significant digit and the lower nibble store the next digit and the upper nibble store the next digit so uh, for example we have minus 437 and it will store the like it will store first 4 uh, uh, then 3 then it will store the 7 till 4 minus it will store the uh, d 
d is used for the uh, minus sign so for calculation of the com3 data type like we have uh, s9 of 3 so how 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 we can we calculate this we have like s9 of 3 so it will 3 plus 1 by 2 it means it will uh, use the 2 by data okay <clears throat> and we have like picture close uh, 9 9 here so it will we have picture close 9 and it will store the half byte you can see and the next question is what are differences between join and union uh, join actually combine the data into new column but in case of union it combine the data in new row okay and the output of join is a new horizontal set of row having same number of row but can have different number of column uh, like we have given here example like we have uh, two table this is t1 and this is t2 so uh, so in this table like we uh, we have added the one more column c3 but a uh, number of record are the same so join close in sql is applicable only when the two table involved have at least one attribute common in both table like it has also c1 attribute it has also c1 attribute these are the common okay and but if you talk about the union so union is a new vertical set of row having same number of column but can have different number of row like uh, we have c1 c2 this is t1 table this is t2 table so like these data will be uh, come into the row like you can see uh, this is coming like that okay and uh, union in sql is applicable when the two table have the same number of attribute and the domain of corresponding attribute are also same and we have uh, various type of join like self join inner join left outer join right outer join full outer join but we have two type of union only one is union and another another is union only and join will not remove the duplicate row from the result but union will remove the duplicate row from the result and next question is if we do not use commit in the cobol db2 for query then what will happen if the program end normally it means uncommitted work is committed automatically but if our program abandon it means uh, uncommitted work is rolled back it means our updated data will not save will not save means our updated data will not save and uh, next question is what is primary key and unique index in db2 actually primary key is a column of table which uniquely identify each row in that table primary key uh, enforce integrity constraint to the table only one primary key is allowed to use in a table actually a primary key doesn't accept any duplicate and null value also and uh, if we talk about the unique index these are the indexes that allow you to maintain data integrity by ensuring that the index key column do not contain any duplicate data you can define a unique index on one or more column of a table if you include one column in the unique index db2 will enforce the uniqueness of value in that column in case if you define a, a unique index that include multiple column then db2 will enforce the uniqueness of the value in each column any attempt to insert or update data into the unique index column that cause the duplicate will result in error when you create a, a unique index for the table that already has the existing data so db2 will check the data in the index key column for the uniqueness if the table contain duplicate key value so our index process creation will be failed and beside enforcing the uniqueness of data unique index also improve the speed of the query that involve the index key column we can create the index like that create unique index and index name on this table and then we can give the column now, column name and typically uh, null is not equal to itself so, uh, however unique index treat null value equally so if a unique index has one uh, column this column can have one null only if in case unique index has multiple column it means these column will have only one row that has null in every column next question is what are the reason for so for amend uh, uh, for, we, we actually called it as a protection protection exception 
so first we can just read or write attempt to unopen file means uh, we have not opened the file but we are trying to read and write the file and uh, bad subscript or index it means addressability issue when you trying to move a larger variable to a smaller variable and uh, next is missing select statement means uh, during compile time we if we have missed the select statement then it also uh, give us so for a uh, band and missing parameter in the uh, sub program and then we are moving the data from the unopened file or we are uh, reading the data from the unopened file so it will give us so for band next question is what is null indicator and its data type a, a db2 null indicator actually represent missing or unknown information at the column level so s904 comp5 uh, comp is the uh, fixture clause of a null indicator i have jcl containing three step and second step contain the cond equal to only and i want to execute the third step when return code is greater than 4 from any of the above both step how will you write it okay so we have a uh, step one and then we have step two but i have written cond equal to only in this case and for the step three condition we have to we need to write four greater than equal to uh, step three will be bypassed if the return code of step three is less than or return equal to four okay and what are the common uh, parameter in job card and step like we have a common address space so address space coded in jobs statement override the address space coded in the exit statement of any job step and time parameter also common uh, like if time is coded in an exit statement then it applied to that job step only if it is specified in both job and exit statement then both will be in effect and can cause the timeout error due to either of it it is not recommended to use time parameter in both the job and exit statement together and we have also a region parameter as a common uh, so region is coded in an exec statement then it applied to that job step only if uh, region coded in job st uh, statement then it will override the region coded in the exec statement of any job step and we have con parameter also used to uh, control the job step execution based on the return code of the previous step if a con parameter is coded in an exec statement of a job step, then the con parameter of the job uh, statement is ignored. The various tests that can be performed using a uh, con parameter can be explained in the uh, conditional processing. And the next question is what is foreign key? Uh, foreign key is used to link one or more than one table together. It is also known as the referencing key. A foreign key matches the primary key field of another table. It means if foreign key field in one table refer to the primary key of another table. Uh, it identifies each row of the another table uniquely that maintain the referential uh, integrity. Like we have T1 table. So T1 table I contain the uh, this is foreign, uh, foreign key and this is the T2 table. So this foreign key is referring the primary key of the uh, T2 table. Okay and uh, what is access path in db2 uh, actually it is a dbrm uh, that is database request mini module which is uh, the shortest path chosen by the db2 optimizer to retrieve or access the data from the database and uh, why do we receive sql code minus 904 it means we have unavailable resource when we are trying to open the table means someone else is locking your data how can you pass data from JCL to COBOL? There are three ways. Uh, one way through palm parameter in step, we can pass the data from JCL to COBOL. And another way is through the CSIN uh, data pass and uh, accept in the COBOL program. And third way is sending through file and read it in the COBOL code. If VSM file is consuming more record and it is taking more storage, then how would you resolve it? increase the primary and secondary cylinder for the vsm file and give parameter owner for enhancing we give the key parameter im for enhancing its performance and storage at some in some project in some uh, application you can see and if also if we save the file on tape also it will uh, it will yeah it will it will its size will also uh, it will store it 
and uh, uh, if like we have volume also volume part also play uh, to here that means at which volume how how many cylinder how much space is available okay and uh, next question is added one more fill in PICS map how would you handle it I have a existing map for the same map I am adding a new field what thing I have to take care and what are the steps in executing this new map that added new field like if you change or add input output field you will of course have to change your program logic for those field if you change in the map only that affect the constant or text only there is no change in the program uh, logic required and in both cases you will have to tell CICS to use the new map set it means we have to uh, update the uh, map set in the table using the CMT new copy after you have assembled the map set or map this is also true for your program like we have uh, this these are uh, this is the uh, map set name and this is the map name this is the field name uh, which we have used here okay and this is the constant or text field you can say and this is also constant this is also constant text field but it is at the table you can say initial we have given a space and it is unprotected otherwise the as a skip as skip as skip so these are the text you can say these are the text and uh, what is ITL and what are the difference between problem and incidents? ITL is a uh, framework for effectively managing IT services throughout the entire service life cycle. The ITL uh, framework actually manages the uh, five stages of the IT services. Uh, services name are uh, five, five stages means uh, service strategy and then service design, then service transition, then service operation and uh, next is continual service improvement as ITL define what is a problem it is actually a cause or potential cause of one or more incident and the next question is what is a, an incident and uh, it is a single unplanned event that causes service disruption disruption and how will you find the record length of each record in a VB file so rdw contain the record length of a vb record you can use the following code to get the length of individual record in vb file like we have the fd section here this is recording mode is v variable format file and then we have the record is varying in size from 20 to 180 characters depending on variable 01 then we have the variable name input rack pick x of 180 uh, variable 01 in the depending on page must be an elementary unsigned integer data item declared in the working story section and when a record is read from the file and it is defined with record is varying in size depending on the size of the record read, buffer is moved into the uh, variable to write a uh, record to a variable length file we need to uh, with the record is varying in size depending on the phrase the size of the phrase the size of the record to be written must first be moved to the variable 01 and then write the statement must be executed like we have uh, we have written the uh, program here uh, that will uh, that will check the length of the each of the record like we have uh, this uh, file section the input one your organization is sequential then file status then we have fd section and we have given a 10 to 80 byte then we have given the depending on this record length and then we have input rack and then we also define the length variable and this one and then we have an EUF and, and then we have switch define then we open the input file then we have uh, we are reading the file until we reach the un and under it then we are reading read input file set uh, at end uh, unreach to true and then not at end we are displaying the uh, variable uh, data and then we are displaying the length like we have this input file and we are reading this file and like you know, in the first we are we are define we are display the record and in the next uh, next uh, next line we are uh, we are displaying the length of the record like we it has the 30 length so it will display 30 it has 35 so it will display 35 it has the 32 length so it will display 32 by uh, 32 length and so like that okay uh, guys uh, thank you guys uh, that's all from my side if you have any question or any doubt please uh, drop that down into the below comment box thanks once again bye bye